first enlightenment around bullying came when I was teaching school. And I had the most classic bully in my classroom. Every single child in that classroom hated that kid. And I went to his home and saw that parents are not at home. He's babysitting two younger children, having to get them ready for school, feed them everything else. And I immediately saw, this is not a bad kid. This is a kid with problems. I started to bring him into school early, packed lunch for him, and put him in leadership positions in the class. But at the same time, I was working with the students, explaining what he was going through and how much he needed their help. There are no bad children. They don't exist. There are children with problems. If we don't help them solve their problems and they don't get their problems solved, they grow up to be bullies. And the minute that I enlisted those kids on that level and they started reaching out to him, this kid's life changed. It was a miracle. Look at these problems that cause people to become bullies. If you can understand why a bully does what they do, you will not personalize it. You will not say, well, he's bullying me because I'm obviously no good. You won't say that. You'll say, you know why he's bullying me or she's bullying me? Because he or she has problems. We've seen all over the news lately situations in which high school girls have, have actually committed suicide because of bullying. And we've seen what bullying does to people in terms of how they erupt and they'll pull out guns in a high school or whatever. Bullying has become very, very serious. This little girl here was so put down and bullied, she went home and killed herself. That's how serious this can be. Sometimes you can break a person's spirit so badly. You can hurt them so badly emotionally and in every other way, you can destroy their lives. The most important thing to teach kids is why people bully. Because if they understand why people bully, they will not personalize it. They'll understand that it's the other person who has the problems, not them. Bullies pick their targets. Some targets have low self-esteem. They don't feel good about themselves, so they think they deserve the bullying. They're very shy. They have no friends. If you don't have any friends to stick up for you, you can really become a target pretty fast. If you're afraid, if you're a fearful person, you kind of attract people to hurt you. Also, that you're easily embarrassed. And then the last one is, is that you're passive and you don't do anything. You just let it happen. You don't tell anybody, you don't do anything, and the bullying just goes on and on and on, which is what happened to this little girl here that I was talking to you about in the beginning. So we tell children who are potential targets of a bully, if you know that the person is a bully, you try to stay away from them. But if you can't do that, the best thing is to, if they're bullying you, to confront them. It is looking straight in their eyes it's saying, I don't like what you're doing, stop it. If they continue to come after you, then you, you have to try to ignore them. Just pretend it's not happening. Just don't pay any attention to them. If you don't pay any attention to them, they usually run out of gas. But if they continue to come after you after you ignore them, then that's the time to walk or run away. If they come after you, go get help. And you keep trying to get help until the situation has resolved itself. You just keep going until somebody helps you and this bullying stops. You give them those skills at very early ages and they'll grow up with those skills and they'll take those skills along with them in every single solitary grade. You are good. You are worthy. You are valuable. There is not another human being on the face of this earth that is like you. You were put on this earth for a special purpose that nobody else is ever going to fulfill. That's how valuable you are.